call the December 7th, 2016 Cape Elizabeth Zoning Board of Appeals meeting to order. Uh, the first order of business is to approve the minutes of September 27th, 2016. Um, I was not at that meeting, so I think we still have a quorum for folks who were. Uh, do I have a motion? Move to approve the so minutes. Oh, before. So moved. I'll second. All in favor? They are approved by nothing. And the next order of business is uh, we have no old business, so we're on to the new business, which is to hear the request of Eric R. Kruger and Maureen P. Quinlan to expand a non conforming portion of their house by adding a second story addition based on section 19 4. Dash 4B4 of the zoning ordinance. The subject property is 33 Beach Bluff Terrace, map U10, lot 26. Uh, Mr. Kruger or Ms. Quinlan? Well. Good evening. Thank you for your time slot this evening. I'm Eric Kruger. It's my wife, Maureen. Uh, we've been at 33 Beach Bluff Terrace for 20 years this coming August. Um, this is our neighbor, Mr. Jason Nagel. He's at 32 Beach Bluff Terrace, which would be right across the street from us or south of us, depending on uh, um, what you're looking at. Um, I'll give you just a real brief, brief history. Um, this is actually the second time we submitted this. It was withdrawn the first time um, we came in with a first and second story project. Um, consulting with Mr. McDougall, it was, we found out our timing was bad with some ordinances that had to be rewritten regarding um, some um, non-conforming uh, structures, non-conforming lots. So what we did is we took the project and we cut it in ha uh, into two phases. One was we, on the first floor, we had a kitchen and a den. <clears throat> we took that down to, we got a permit, we took that down to studs and just made it into a kitchen. Um, and then when the ordinance timing was, was right, we'd come back with our application and um, uh, apply for the variance to put a bathroom on, uh, if you've seen the pictures, we've got a flat structure um, to put a bathroom up there um, with a, um, some linen closets and then the den. Um, the den was... Uh, had everybody's desk and computer in it, and right now the desk and computers are distributed everywhere in the house, and we'd like to get them back, especially out of the kids' bedrooms, get their computers back uh, out of their bedroom. But um, So we uh, raised the ceiling height um, in, the, in the kitchen so that it was flat. It used to be a very sloped roof. Um, and other than that, we put everything on hold um, while we got phase one done. Phase one started in the uh, spring of 2016. Um, we got the certificate of occupancy from the town on uh, July 15th of 2016. So we stand before you this evening um, to you know, ask if you have any questions regarding the application to continue with uh, phase two, which would be to put that uh, second story structure on. Thank you. Any questions for Mr. Kruger? Question, Josh. Can you explain the, the nonconformity to me? Is it it's a nonconforming lot because it's undersized for the zone, and it, in in addition to that, it doesn't meet current setbacks that's requirements. Correct. Is that uh, right? That's what I understand the nonconformity to be is. Um, as you can see, that addition that was built probably, we think, in the 50s, based upon the electrical items we ripped out of there, um, is 28 feet from our neighbors to the west, uh, which is okay. Um, but it's only, the, the scope of work would be 16 feet from our neighbors to the east, which would be 29 Beach Bluff Terrace. I, I believe that to be the nonconformity. Um, and, and this project would not change that distance at all because we're, we're just going to go up. We, nothing goes out. <clears throat> the, the survey um, that we have from Dale Brewer, that's, that was done 
uh, last winter. 2015 or? Uh, no, it was, uh, I, I want to say winter of 2016. Okay. Uh, and the footprint of the house that's shown is, is this, I know you've, you've sort of renovated, but the footprint didn't change. So correct. it's the same as it, correct. it's shown yep. in the survey. And in fact, after you complete the project you're talking about here, it, it still won't change. The correct? footprint, right. We, we go up, but not out so, in, any, in any direction. So as I'm looking at the, I'm just trying to orient myself sure. to the, the house. So as I'm looking at the plan, the sort of the appendage on the back of the house that's next to the driveway and sort of next to, kind of in line with the, the wooden shed, is that where the, where the construction is? Just going to look at the same thing you were looking at. Oops. So um, you might see my chicken scratch on there. It says uh, second floor project, the appendage sticking out. Um, so you see the paved driveway, the stairway, and then um, I think I, you might see my handwriting on there. It says second floor project. But yeah, I don't see any handwriting, okay. but I, I think I... I think I see. Yeah, our, our copies don't have that on there, but okay. <clears throat> that's accurate, what you're describing. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Any other questions? Any public comment? Thank you very much. Uh, not hearing any public comment. Uh, like to open up the uh, issue for board discussion. Um, I think uh, I'll just start by noting that um, this is actually this application is under the new section of the ordinance, which is 19-4-2. Three, that correctly. Three, three, four. Nineteen dash. It's I'll fix that in here, but um, it's nineteen dash four dash four B four. Um, that's four, right? Not three. Uh, no, three. Oh, so this is correct. That's yeah. I, okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Yep. Um, 19-4-3B4, um, and this is the new section which addresses enlargement of non-conforming structures. In the past, we have been analyzing this under the reconstruction or replacement, um, and this is now under the uh, section 19-4-3B4, which is enlargement. Um, and uh, Again, I think the same criteria applies under this new section as it did under um, subsection B3. Um, this just more directly addresses an enlargement um, when before we were addressing kind of these types of expansions and enlargement under a reconstruction or replacement. Um, I think the application looks like it's in good order. Um, uh, the slope of the land is not going to change. The potential for soil erosion, it's the second story, so there's no excavation. Um, location of other structures on the property, um, it's going to take place, place 25 feet from the property line, um, 16 feet from the property line of 29 Beach Bluff Terrace, and it's a second story, so it's not, it's not resulting in any additional buildings. It's not going to affect the septic system, um, impact of views. Um, is addressed in the application. And the new roof line is not any higher than the highest point of the existing roof. Um, no vegetation is going to be removed. Um, so it looks like it, it addresses all of those issues. Um, also, uh, since this is just a second story addition, which is going up above the existing property, it's not going to increase the nonconformity. Um, and uh, based on the application, it looks like it's in compliance with the setback requirement to the greatest practical extent. Um, at least that's how I view it. Any comments, thoughts on that? Okay. Um, uh, if we have no further uh, board discussion, 
I would entertain a motion. I would uh, move to approve the request of Eric Kruger and Maureen Quinlan, owners of the property at 33 Beach Bluff Terrace, to expand a portion of their house vertically over existing living space based on section 19-4, 19-4-3. B period four of the zoning ordinance. Um, I'll second. All in favor? All right. That passes uh, six nothing. Um, and uh, some findings of fact. This is a request of Eric R. Kruger and Maureen Quinlan, owners of the property at 33 Beach Bluff Terrace, map U10, lot 26, to expand a portion of their house vertically over existing living space based on section 19-4-3B4 of the zoning ordinance. Uh, number two, the subject lot is a non-conforming lot in the RA zone. Additional findings of fact, the Zoning Board of Appeals has considered the size of the lot, the slope of the land, the potential for soil erosion, the location of other structures on the property and on adjacent properties, the location of the septic system and other on-site soils suitable for septic systems, the impact on views and the type amount of vegetation to be removed to accomplish the relocation. Two, the proposed structure will not increase the nonconformity of the existing structure. And three, the proposed structure is in compliance with the setback requirement to the greatest practical extent. Um, all in favor of the findings and additional findings? Okay, the findings and additional findings are approved 6 nothing, And you're all set. Thank you. Uh, the only other matter of new business for this meeting is to discuss the 2017 meeting schedule. Uh, Any other issues other than this Thanksgiving Christmas combination? Any, any other issues? Uh, any other months? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. Then uh, we'll try not to pick. But what is this, the second Wednesday of December? This is the first Wednesday. Is this the first December. Wednesday? Oh, yeah, okay. Um, is there a way to avoid these concerts? Um, since we're, we're, we've been meeting on Pearl Harbor Day, we could just reference Pearl Harbor Day if you like. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out that Tuesdays is uh, fifth and sixth grade. Yeah, it's, it's like this week. Wednesday <clears throat> is uh, seventh and eighth grade. Okay. So, so. I'll rate this year. I, won't ha I will have a problem next year. Okay. So, wait, Tuesdays are 5th and 6th. That's right. Wednesdays are 7th and 8th. So, you, you also had it last year. I had it last year. Um, but next, my son's not doing band this year. My daughter's doing band, but she's in 5th grade this year. She'll be in 6th grade next year. So, I'll be good on Wednesday. <laughs> okay. We could also do Thursday. If the meeting. <laughs> Unless, is the, is the... We could have done Thursday. I, then... Why don't we do, if, if the room is available on Thursday. Do like the, the second Thursday of December, or depending on that. First, yeah. or, first or second Thursday of December. I think that's Let's try right. for that. Okay. We're talking about next December? Yes. We're talking about a, a year from now. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 that's a long ways away. <laughs> uh, they, yeah, we, we do like to set the calendar. You know, we, Fine. we that's, set that's the whole fine. calendar for the year. and. Uh, that slipped a little bit this past year. I kind of shuffled it around sure. about six or eight weeks ago. <laughs> but uh, but I'll, I'll try to, I'll look at the calendar and, and I'll get it set for a day and try for one of those Thursdays, and that's those in, first Thursdays of December. And that's the combined kind of the November slash yeah. December meeting. That's right. Okay. Sound good? Yeah. Uh, any other business? Quick question for Ben. Now that the ordinance has changed, will the form change to uh, uh, add the fourth category? The form where the applicant is applying. Yes. Then yes. okay. that's a so show point. enlargement is. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, right. <coughs> yes. I have a small question request. I think in the regulation or bylaws, it says that. Ben will make a brief sort of <clears throat> summary presentation of each issue. Um, I think that would be a good idea. Is that is there anything wrong with that, or why ha why have we not done that? Is that in the where is that? I, I know we've done it in the. I mean, sometimes it sometimes we do it, sometimes we don't. Well, I just think that you know often we find ourselves sort of groping through issues and the. The applicant presents them, and it seems to me it, it would be appropriate for us to know 
just you know, for Ben us to know. <clears throat> the issue Ben is the one who's dealt with. He's a professional. Yeah, I mean I think like for example today I don't think we needed it because it's a very straightforward um, you know, expansion and non conforming. I mean this was very straightforward. Yeah. We do use Ben. You know, certainly I, I will ask him and uh, yeah. anybody else is free to kind of, you know, suggest we start with a little summary from Ben when it's a more right. complex issue or when we kind of would appreciate Ben framing the issue. So it is it is what's called for in writing in our <laughs> and, and I think we typically have looked to Ben, as Josh said, when there have been more complex issues where we need his input, <coughs> where we're looking for, for uh, wondering whether there's been additional input from the public. Um, but I, I agree with you. Yeah. We certainly. I mean, I think just sort of for the record, it's we want to be free to sure. rely on his expertise as needed. I agree. All right. Uh, that. I have a motion to adjourn. So moved. All right. We have adjourned. <coughs> Yeah.